Hey guys, it's Kate from Crafting with Kate. And uh, this morning I spent some time grooming my dogs and bathing and clipping nails and uh, giving them a little trim. And I, um, after I got done blowing them all out and brushing them out, I decided to put some Christmas bows in their hair. And I made them really quickly. And I thought that um, I would do a quick tutorial to show you how to make these for your dogs. Uh, most of the time, if you go to the groomer, you're gonna end up with something that looks like this size. And um, this is great if you don't want a big bow. It is this size ribbon. Um, I like bigger bows, so I did make this one for my girl. Um, and it is my glitter uh, fabric that I make my uh, hair bows. And I just made a quick little bow for my girl. And um, this one is just regular ribbon. And I made this one for my boy. And it is this size. So it's just regular ribbon, very flexible, no wires, and you can see the difference. I'll show you, this is the thin one, and that is just the regular ribbon. And um, I like that size because I like a nice big bow um, for my boy. And uh, that one, I'll show you, let's see. It is, I wanna say two, maybe two inches, let's see maybe one and a half. Emma, come hold this. No, this. Hold this. All right, let's see. I need two hands now. So this is two, a two inch. This, this ribbon is a half an inch. Yep, a half an inch. So you can get any size ribbon you want. It'll work with anything. Just make sure you don't get the kind with the wires. You don't want any wires. You want it nice and flexible. So what you're gonna do, if you are making this size, you are going to do a four inch ribbon. If you want it bigger, like this size or this size, I did a five inch ribbon. So this one, as you can see, is five inches. It doesn't have to be perfect. You don't have to even cut it. Look, I didn't even cut that one straight. And it's fine, you won't see, you won't be able to tell. So what we're gonna do is we are going to be using these things. These are rubber bands. They're, called, they're from Goody, I believe. And they, you can find them anywhere. They come in a package of like, I don't know, 100 or 200 or even more. And um, they're just little tiny rubber bands. I used to use them on the girls' hair. Um, when they were real little, I used to make, I called them nippy knots. I don't, I don't know what it really is, but I would put this in their hair and then use a tool to take their hair and pull it through so that it would stay out of their eyes and not come out. Um, but I now I use them on my dogs. And um, there's two different kinds you can get. This is the kind that I recommend. See how stretchy it is? It's sort of like a rubber band. It looks like a rubber band. Uh, they have another kind that is um, more like a plastic. It looks like cut plastic and it is not stretchy and it breaks. Do not get that kind. They're pretty, They're usually those are colorful. Um, just get the regular kind because you want it to be nice and stretchy and you don't want it to break. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna, and they, they are a little bit in different in size. You can see they come, I mean, they're almost the same size, but you can definitely see they're different, different sizes. It really doesn't matter um, because they're so stretchy. It doesn't, just whatever one you grab. Now I put it on my middle finger and I'm just gonna put it there and I'm gonna leave it. It's a little tight, it doesn't hurt. It's not, not too tight at all. All right, so I'm just gonna leave it on there Let's get rid of these extra ones. And then this is no sew, very quick and easy. You're gonna just take your ribbon and you are going to fold it over. I'm gonna clean up that edge. 
it's starting to fray. It won't fray once you get it all put together, but if you do have something fraying, you can clean it up or you can clean it up at the end. So this is what you want. You want it to overlap. So do you see how I don't have it overlapping like just a little bit? I'm not that talented. I won't be able to catch it. I overlap it almost like a triple fold. See that? That's what you want. All right. And you're just going to line it all up. Make sure that it's overlapping the whole way so that you have it like this. That's it. And if you have, you know, you didn't, I didn't cut it straight. That's okay. That's, don't worry about that. You can clean that up at the very end if you need to. And sometimes you don't even see it. So now that you have this, all right, what you're going to do is you're going to just squish it together like an accordion almost in the middle so that you end up and it doesn't have to be real pretty. It doesn't even have to be even. At this point, you can have some stuff sticking out in the back. It doesn't really matter. You're just squishing it together. So it's like this. And all you're doing is taking and you are just squishing it. Now you don't need to do this part if you use a thinner ribbon. But because I like the nice thick ribbon, you, you need to do this so that you can get the rubber band on right. So that's, it sort of gives like an accordion. You see that? And you can see it's not all even caught back here. It's okay. It's very easy, very flexible to do. All right, so this side would fan out too. So I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna lay it on my finger. All right, now I don't have to even worry about holding it. It doesn't matter, we're gonna adjust later but I just want it squished so that I can get this up over. So there's my rubber band. Okay, see that rubber band? And I'm gonna take, and I'm gonna pull it up and over my finger. So now I have it stuck to my finger, just like that. And you can adjust a little bit if you want. You can adjust at the end, it doesn't really matter. So it's stuck. This is what it looks like on the back. This is what it looks like on the front. Okay. So let's see if I can brighten that up. There we go. So this is the first step to tying that rubber band right around. I'm going to take and I'm going to move it so that I have my rubber bands closer together. And if you mess up the folds and how, oh, I had it so nice and now it's all messed up, that's okay. Let's see if I can grab it, there we go. All right, so I'm gonna to start to get that together. All right, it's still gonna be apart because your finger's still there, but I just try to move it around, okay? Now what I'm gonna do, I use this simply because it's easy and it's a tool I use for reading my vinyl. A lot of people don't have this. You can use a pencil, okay? You can use a knitting needle, whatever you want, all right? So I'll use a pencil because that's something everybody has. And I'm just gonna take the bottom one and I'm gonna slide that underneath and I'm gonna slide it up and over top and let it go. So now I still have it, see it's still stuck on my finger, but I have, let me see, hold on. I still have this on my finger, but as you can see, I have one of the rubber bands here in the front, and I have the other one still here, okay? Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and I'm gonna move the rubber bands together. And you can just sort of twist it a little bit. You can pick it up, keeping it on my finger. You see how I'm, I'm able to lift, let's see if I can show you, see? But it's still on my finger, all right? Now I've got them, and now I've got to start to eyeball it. 
Do I have it in the center? Sometimes I'll do it and I'll be way over here and I'm gonna move it over. It's very flexible, very, very easy to, to fix. And so I'm just going to start to adjust my ribbon and sort of squish it around. I think that I have it pretty much in the center and I can always adjust it later. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna twist it and I'm going to push it over to the front. Okay, I just pushed one end through. Still have it on my finger, I'm gonna twist it again, turn it once, and then I'm gonna take it right back through that other side. Now, I have the opportunity to go back and fluff it. See that? I can adjust it. I can fluff it out. I can make it a little bit different. And there you have it. And you're ready to go. And you just, all you have to do is just grab that and take it, put it right on your dog. There you go. Put it in your two hands, put it back. There you go. All done. That simple. And it's not going to come apart. And it's going to fit very nicely right on your dog's little ponytail or braid or whatever you're going to give your dog. And it holds its shape. See? That's why I like this size. I think that it holds its shape better. If you want a smaller one like this one, you'll get a little bit of the shape, but it's sort of flat. See how it's nice and flat? So if you want a nice flat bow, you can use the smaller ones. I like the dimension. I like this because I think it looks like a very cute bow. Nice and easy to do. I hope that you have a wonderful weekend. And I am going to go finish putting this on my, my little boy and my little girl. And uh, I will post pictures and step-by-step uh, step as well. Have a great weekend.